Hello, Olga here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to crochet with you this beautiful texted stitch known as star stitch. It can also be called the Marguerite stitch, daisy stitch or spiked cluster. I like to call it a floral pattern. I use it at my projects and just look how amazing it looks on heads. I also have video and PDF tutorials where I explain and show step by step how to crochet this incredibly cute raffia hat and baseball cap in all sizes using this star pattern. You can find the link to these tutorials in the description below the video. So back to the crocheting pattern. I'm going to use my favorite Trafia ESP and the 3.5mm crochet hook. This is how it looks from the front and this is how it looks from the front side. The star stitch requires an even number of chains. One, two, one, in fact, two stitches and two rows make one star or one flower. In this swatch we have one, two, one, two, four rows in total. Now I'm going to chain off ten. Slip knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is our foundation chain. Let's mark that last chain and work four extra chains to bring up the yarn. One, two, three, four. Then we are going to extend the chain that we just made to the high of the path that we want to create. Then insert the hook into the second chain, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next one. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Repeat this into the next, which is a chain of the foundation row. Now we have four loops on the hook. Then we add two more loops. Insert into the next chain alone. Pull up a loop. Into the next one. Now we have six loops on the hook. All you need to do is yarn over and pull through all that six loops. Do that quite gently, don't pull it too tightly. You can see that loops are a little longer than usual and they form the arms of your star. And then yarn over and pull through the loop to close this cluster of stitches. So now we've made is a little cluster which is called five single crochet together. So you can see here that our extra chains form the side of this little star. And the last two arms will actually be counted in the base row. One, two, Let's pull the loop a little. We need to look at where we closed and it's just here. And we refer to this and the center of the star like a little eye. So straight in there, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through a loop. We have two loops on the hook. And then this little arm here, this last one you made, 
Pop your hook underneath there, yarn over and pull through a loop three on the hook and just straight into the base of where this little arm originates. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. So now we've got four loops. Now in the next two chains we are going to do the same. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop. So you then end up with another six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all. Yarn over and pull through a loop. And once again you can see that little eye there. So here we have started to form the beginnings of our wet stars. Back into the eye of the star, yarn over, pull through a loop. Find that little arm just here, insert your hook under the arm, yarn over, and pull through a loop. Into the base of where that arm originates, insert the hook, yarn over, and pull through a loop. We have four loops on the hook. And now working into the next two chains. And you have six loops. Again, yarn over, pull through all six loops, yarn over and close this. This is how it's looking. I like it. You can see little eye here and here and here. So once more, that is one, into the eye two, under the arm three, into the base four, into the foundation chains five and six. You know them. Pull through all six loops and close this. And once more, it is one, two, three, four, five. Six, you know where, pull through all six loops and close this. Now I'm going to complete the row. So insert the hook into the eye, you know where, pull up a loop. Skip that arm, insert the hook into the base, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have three on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through both loops. Here is my completed first row, and I have a total of five stars. Now we don't change, turn the work. Bring the rock toward you and walk back in the other direction. Then locate these little eyes. You know them. And walk half double crochet into it. Insert the hook in the eye. You know them. Pull through a loop. Three loops on the hook. You know them. And pull through all three loops. One more half double crochet in the same eye. Insert the hook in the hole, yarn over, pull through a loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's all there is to this row.
find the next eye, pop another two half double crochets there. Now we are going to work two whole double crochet into each eye along this row. I'm going to complete the row making slip stitch into that very last chain. Turn the work. This is how it's looking. It's great. I'm going to chain three and start the next row, which is repeat the pattern of the very first row. Then we are going to extend the chain, insert your hook into the second chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next one, yarn over and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Now watch carefully. We need to keep this V at the front. Let's take a look at the head. See here, both loops form the separator between the two rows of star stitches. The same technique is used on the baseball cap. Now back to this watch. Each stitch has two loops forming the V. Plus a third one right here at the back. We are going to insert the hook into that back loop for this entire row. So insert the hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Repeat this into the next two stitches. Now we have six loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all six loops, yarn over and close the stitch. Let's pull the loop a little, that is one, this is how it's looking. You can see a little eye here, so into the eye two, under the arm three, into the base four, And into the next two stitches, five and six. You know, and pull through all six loops and close this.
and once more that is one two three four five and six Yanova, pull through all six loops and close this. I am going to complete the row making the little clusters. Now I'm going to complete the row, so until we hook into the hole, we are nowhere, lock a loop, skip that arm, and so we hook into the base, we are nowhere, pull up a loop, we have three on the hook, we are nowhere, pull through two, we are nowhere, pull through both loops. We've completed that row. Now we don't change, turn the work and walk back in the other direction. Then locate these little lines. I'm going to work two whole double crochet into each of them. I'm going to complete the row making slip stitch into that very last chain. I finished this watch and it's uh, interesting to compare this to. Both are about 5 cm, they are identical in width, which is great. If you enjoyed my latest project, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my tutorials, which you can find through the link in the descriptions below this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!